Hello, I am Carrie Shell from the Office of EdTech and Design. And today we are going to go over your smart boards to get you started. So think of your smart board as a computer. All the cables that came in your box, you do not need to connect them. The smart board is a computer. And today we're gonna to go over a couple of settings and we're gonna go over the whiteboard space. Right now you can see I am sharing a smart board to you and you're going to go through this with me. As I move, I want you to pause the video, try it out yourself and then press play again to continue and go through each step. Now, before we get started in the whiteboard, which we're going to focus on today, I do want you to look at the front of your smart board. So here in my video, not the one I'm sharing, but where I'm talking, you will see um, your buttons on the bottom. That's my control panel. The image that looks like the house is your home button. So if I touch into say my browser and then I'm like, how do I get back to where I started? I'm just going to click the home I'm right here on the bottom right. That takes me back to the main page. You're also going to see an input button. We're going to see a screen shade. This one's really cool. Okay, so it kind of looks like an old school screen that you would pull down. When I touch that one, it makes my board disappear, but when I touch it again, it's going to pick up right where I was. So say you have a really exciting lesson and you know when your students come in from transition, they're gonna be really excited and super excited and be like, look at what we're doing, oh my gosh. And you want to avoid that for a smoother transition, put the screen shade on. When everyone's settled, you've transitioned back into the classroom, then you can touch it and it'll have right where you left off with your lesson ready to go. Next, uh, you will see the pause button. Pause is going to have you pause the screen Right, so if there's a video showing, press pause, you wanna stop it and not like stop, stop, press pause. It'll pause it for you. Next, you see your volume control, right? And then last is your power button. That's just going to turn this off, but it doesn't power the whole system off. The main power switch is looking at the board on the right-hand side in the back. So back behind the board. All right, so let's get started into our whiteboard space. So right here, I'm just going to touch whiteboard. Since I am signed in, everything I do in a whiteboard becomes a Lumio lesson. I have it all synced. So everything I do here is going to show up in my Google Drive, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's talk about the controls we have on the left side of your whiteboard. All right, so let's talk about the controls we have on the left side of your whiteboard. Our first control is the pin. And then our second control is select all. So a lot of times teacher asks me, how can I get rid of all of this? I would choose select all to do that. So say, Right, I've written with my pen. Okay, let's do, select it all to move it or delete it to lock it. I'm gonna delete just to show you select all. Um, then the one that looks like the picture with the mountain on our board, we call it add content tool. Last, those little squares and one of the squares is sideways. That's our widgets. And then we have our back button, right? Like undo as well. Okay. So let's go into the pin. 